Alrighty guys, what's going on? I set my crawdad trap yesterday. Um, I just got off work, it's about 6.30. So we've come down to check on the crawdad trap. Let's see if there's an easy way to get down here. I threw a big chunk of summer sausage in the trap as bait. Oh, 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 falling. Ah, good, the trap's still there. I was hoping no one came along and stole it. That has happened before. Let's see what we got. Yeah, still see the summer sausage in there. I don't see anything crawling on it. Let's see. Hey, hey. well, we got one, two, three, four, five, six crawdads. Hell yeah. Not as much as I was hoping for. And they're not very big. This is mostly a test. They're big enough to eat. So, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to throw this back in. And uh, I'm going to leave those guys in there. And see what else we can get. Let's, I'm just going to throw it right, right there. Not very far. Just in the rocks. That big old chunk of fatty summer sausage. Anything fatty, crawdads like it. And this is a great spot right under a bridge. It's out of the sun today so they don't get too hot. And all the rocks around, they love that. They come out from under those rocks and they get in there. and Then they try to eat the uh, sausage. And we've got crawdads for supper. And it is Wednesday, so we'll leave it a couple days. I'll check on it every day see what's going on. But while we're down here, let's go have a look around, since it's such a pretty area. And we'll, uh, we'll see what we can find. Maybe even a big snake, if we're lucky. You know, it's, the sun's going down, it's just getting cool out. Snakes should be out looking for a warm place to sit right before evening. These big rocks like that. Great spot for copperheads and around here water snakes. Right. That's what they like, so they can stay warm in the right before evening. And right here is actually a great spot for crawdads as well, because they'll be hiding up under those big rocks and under that flat rock and all through here, and they can smell that uh, sausage coming on down the water, so they'll crawl up there hopefully. I was really hoping to have more than that. Man, look at all them fish. Look at all them little boogers. Man, the camera makes it look like it's noon. <laughs> it is beautiful down here. Look at them all go. And these are all just, you know, little bait fish minnows. I've caught some bass and stuff in here. But never anything giant. Oh, there's a bunch of little crawdads. Those are all darting around. There's a little one sitting there on the rock. We don't want those. Those are way too small to eat. Well, we could eat them, but we're not going to. Oh, he just, there he is. <laughs> Another one there. Great bait, too. Good catfish bait. Drum. Bass. About everything eats them. That's why they're always hiding under the rocks. I'm going to try and grab this one. Nope, he's gone. Slipped a little. Still in my lovely work tennis shoes. I'm only wearing tennis shoes and not my boots because my foot still really hurts. I can't get shoes on. And these are really easy to get on compared to my boots. But I can't walk in the water with them. <laughs> and some cable junk. Mm. Well, I don't see any cool critters, just some fish and stuff. Anyhow, um, yeah. So, I've not been filming as much. I've been, ah, uh, I've been depressed, basically. I've not had energy to do anything. My job's boring. I just, I haven't really felt like doing much. So, not been filming much, because I haven't been out doing much. Stuff happens. But, I'm feeling a bit better, a little bit. Um. We'll see what we get done. I went fishing yesterday, didn't record any. 
And, uh, you know, if I'm sure many of you, if you follow me, know Grant Thompson, the king of random. He just died two days ago, man. I mean, he's one of my favorite channels, too. Um, paragliding accident or something. That's really, really sad, actually. But I rewatched some of his videos, and what I got out of his videos was, you know, he... He always wanted to make people happy. He wanted just not just entertain them, but he was always happy on his videos. He always wanted people to be happy and safe, and you know he always had a smile, and that was a big thing. And I really enjoyed that. So, watched a few other videos where everyone's happy, and that was my thing. I, when I started this, I wanted to show people how how much joy you can get just being out here in the well wilderness with a bridge behind me, but in the in the wild you know and creeks and woods and all that fun stuff all the cool things you could see like uh steve Irwin, you know he used to get me so excited when i watch him over all the, the cool animals he'd go catch big snakes and and you know whatever gators crocodiles wallabies wombats all those cool things and it was just it was his passion and that was mine for a long time. I loved the outdoors. I loved the animals. I loved doing that. And I'm 27 now. And we're 28. Hold on. I don't remember. Somewhere in that range. 27, 28. I think I turned 28 this year. Um, and my job just drains me. And I just thought, well, you know, that takes up so much of your time. And then I've got kids. And you got to do things at home. And you got, and then you, by the time you're home, you're tired. You know, so I just want to sit there and watch... You know, Chef Ramsay or something. I don't know. Whatever's on TV. I just want to relax. I don't want to go out and do things like I used to. Um, I've lost 10 pounds in the last week and a half, by the way. Um, some from being up doing stuff more, getting back into my routine of running around and doing all this. And look how beautiful it is out here. I mean, look at that. This beautiful little... Oh, just relaxing area and and it's just right off the road and this is the thing people drive the roads all the time and they're like oh i love seeing nature and they stay in their car you don't have to go way way out to see beautiful things you can you can just step right outside your car in places and walk you know 40 feet off the road and there's no traffic here you can hear that that water beautiful running over all these rocks and it's just peaceful and if you want you can bring a fishing rod down here and catch little fish and just relax it's, there's little bass and bluegills and creek chubs and all that and it's peaceful it's just beautiful and that's what I've been missing I've not been I've been so focused on filming every time I've been out in the woods. I haven't been relaxing. I've been stressing. And so, yeah, this is, this is it. Because this is life. This is what life's about. Loving your family and enjoying nature. I don't want to go clubbing or to the bars. I want to come out here and breathe that fresh air out of this wonderful area and you can find places like this in cities granted there's a lot more trash but there's still beautiful spots if you live in a city just find a creek go just north of the city usually just go upstream of the city where the creek comes from and you will find some of the most beautiful things you can imagine i mean it's just everyone thinks oh there's nothing like that where i live there's nothing like that around here I lived in Seoul, South Korea. I lived in uh, Corpus Christi, Texas. I lived in Key West, Florida. I've lived in Pensacola, Florida, parts of South Carolina. I lived in town here in Indiana. I've, I've traveled all kinds of places. And there are places like this in all of them. And you just have to <laughs> be willing to go out and look for them. But they're there. Oh, well, maybe not. I don't know. I've never been to New York. I know upstate New York has some beautiful areas. 
I wouldn't go to the city. Just take a day trip. Day trip. Get out of the city a little bit. You don't have to go too far even. Just outside the city. Find a, a park outside the city and you can find all these things. Just go walking on the rocks. Oh. Okay, just a quick little vlog to uh, say hey, because I've been missing. And we'll see what's going on this weekend. I plan on cooking those crawdads, that's for sure. I heard something. Anyhow, all right, you guys. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.